Hey guys, it's iTalk Apple. Today I'm going to help you decide which iPod is right for you or whoever you're buying the iPod for. So I made a video similar to this but with Macs talking about the different Macs and you know what's best for who and it was popular and it's still pretty popular so I figured I'll make one for iPods. The holiday season is quickly approaching. It's actually already here because Black Friday already happened and Cyber Monday was today, so yeah. Anyways, um, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, ha <laughs> see what I did with that? It's like Thanksgiving was last week. <laughs> anyway, so before I get into the video, um, just let want to let you know that you can go to apple.com slash iPod to get all the information that you need about the iPods and you can compare the models and um, yeah so I'm going to start with the cheapest iPod which is the iPod Shuffle the iPod Shuffle comes in just one version it's two gigabytes but it comes in five colors so you have a lot of color options and the price is forty nine dollars so it's very affordable it's a really nice um, gift because it's under fifty dollars barely but it's under fifty dollars it is a nice product to have. So two gigabytes can hold hundreds of songs. I'm not sure if it can get to a thousand, but it can definitely hold hundreds. It also depends on the length of the song, obviously. Um, and what's nice about the iPod Shuffle is that it is tiny, like super tiny. I'll have some pictures displayed and you can see compared to like the average human hand, it's teeny. Um, and it's got a clip on the back so it's really useful for people who are always moving around on the go, exercising, athletes, um, because you can clip it onto your clothing and forget about it. You can just put on your music, it shuffles through your songs, and you don't have to worry about anything else. It's really light so you won't notice it. Now, the drawback to the shuffle is that there is no screen. To control what song you're hearing, um, pretty much all you can do is skip through your songs with the uh, back and forward buttons. You can pause your songs, but um, you can't choose through a list of songs to pick a certain song because there's no screen. However, there is uh, a feature called voiceover, so you can actually um, find out what song you're listening to and who it's by, but um, you can't really pick a song to play. So to get a shuffle, you're going to have to really like all of your music. Although, it is a really good gift to get someone because it's not expensive, but it's something everyone will enjoy because who doesn't like listening to music? Also, the battery life is 15 hours of audio playback, so it's going to last you a long time. Most people aren't going to be listening to music Next for 15 The iPod hours. model is the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano comes in two variations, an 8GB model and a 16GB model. Um, there are seven colors to choose from so you have more options right away. It's significantly more expensive at $149 for the 8GB model and $179 for the 16GB model. However, the price is justified because it is more of a multi-purpose device since it's got a screen. Um, it's a multi-touch screen, so similar to the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Um, the actual like user interface and the operating system it runs is very familiar to most people if they've used an iPod Touch or an iPhone. It's kind of based off of iOS. I'm, I don't think it actually is iOS, but um, it's based off of iOS. You use, obviously, your finger to get around. Um, the only con with the iPod Nano, really, well, it's a pro and a con, is the size. What's great about the size is that, just like the shuffle, it's it's very small like the shuffle. It's bigger but not too much bigger. It's very light. It's got a clip just like the shuffle so you can clip it onto your clothing, exercise and forget about it, or run errands and forget about it. However, since it does have a screen to pick the song you're listening to, you're gonna be scrolling a lot because it's a tiny screen. Um, what I like about the Nano is that there's a lot of features. Um, of course you can listen to audio like music, audiobooks, podcasts, but you can also view photos, you can use um, the pedometer that's provided, you can use um, Nike 
Plus, that whole Nike Plus iPod thing is supported so you can keep track of all your fitness stuff. A really nice feature is that it has an FM radio tuner so you can listen to the radio. I think that's great for people who are taking a walk or a jog and they don't necessarily want to listen to their own music. Let's say they want to listen to the radio. What's really cool about the radio thing is you can actually pause the live radio and then play it to um, continue where you left off or you can fast forward to where the live broadcast is actually in progress. So although it is tiny and compared to the older version of the iPod Nano it did lose um, a few features like you can't watch a movie on it or a TV show anymore, I still think it's a great device and it's good for anyone. Um, most people, I would think, want to choose what song they're listening to and like see some type of visual rep representation of what they're listening to. But um, the iPod Nano is a great gift for anyone, or a great buy for anyone really, for kids, for teens, for adults. The iPod Classic is pretty much all we have left that's close to the original iPod. For those of you who have ginormous audio libraries and even video libraries, the iPod Classic may be a better choice for you. It is a much larger device. It's the heaviest out of all the iPods. It's the thickest out of all the iPods. Um, it has a larger screen than the Nano and it's controlled by a click wheel. It's not a touch screen. Classic comes in only one variation which is 160 gigabytes which can hold up to 40,000 songs which is incredible and obviously you can hold a lot of video with 160 gigabytes as well. It's way more expensive than the Nano at $249 and most people probably won't want to buy the Classic because um, most people don't need 160 gigabytes of um, space for the library. Also, it is the storage type is with an actual hard drive, unlike the Nano, the Shuffle, and also the iPod Touch. It's not flash-based; it's a hard drive. So if you drop it, you're kind of doomed. If you drop it multiple times, I mean, the hard drive's probably gonna fail or break or something. You have a really long battery life. It's um, better than the Shuffle and the Nano at 36 hours of audio playback and six hours of video. So you don't have to worry about if you're on an airplane running out of battery. Um, if you're just listening to audio, at least for video, you might have a problem if you're going on a long trip. But I think that the Classic is the best for people who travel a lot, like who want to watch a video on a plane, I guess. Although nowadays people can watch videos on like an iPad or their iPhone or a laptop, but um, just the case. iPod Touch is definitely, well I would think it's the most popular of all of the iPods. It comes in an 8GB model, a 32GB model, and a 64GB model. The prices are $229, $299, and $399 respectively, so it's definitely the most expensive out of all the iPods, but you get so many features for that price. First of all, it's got a three and a half inch screen diagonally, multi-touch display, retina display, there's a camera on the front and the back. It's got pretty much all the same features as an iPhone, but without the whole like cellular data thing. So you can't get internet access unless you are connected to Wi-Fi and obviously you can't make phone calls. However, there's FaceTime, there's HD video recording, you've got tons of applications to choose from from the App Store. It's a gaming device, there's lots of games in the App Store. Um, it also has the Nike Plus iPod support so you can exercise with it although it would be a little clunky unless you put it around your arm or something. The battery life is great at 40 hours of audio playback and only 7 hours of video. Of course these aren't really realistic because most people are going to be playing games using apps going on the internet and of course that's going to take up, um, that's going to use up your battery life. But um, the iPod Touch appeals to most people. Um, it's definitely popular with younger people because of all the games and the features and the camera. Um, and for those of you who aren't on AT&T and you really want an iPhone, the iPod Touch is probably as close as you're going to get besides, of course, an iPad. But that's a whole other category of yeah. devices. That pretty much wraps up this video. Um, just brief overview. Shuffle, super small, super light, 
Um, great for exercising. With the Nano, you get more features than the Shuffle, um, but of course, it's more expensive. You also get more space, obviously. Um, the Classic is definitely not as popular as the rest of the iPods because of its price for like the features that you get. You obviously can watch movies and can listen to your music. The iPod Touch is probably the most popular. I don't know, it's between that or the Nano. Although it's more expensive, you have tons of features, like tons. It's almost like having a computer in your pocket. So that's pretty much it. And um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any video suggestions, please comment below. I'll have links that you need in the description. And follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash italkapple. And you can read my blog at italkapple.tumblr.com. Thanks again for watching and have a nice morning, afternoon, day, night.